morning, guys. So we woke up this morning and took a really, really pretty drive from the Ashcroft area to Lillooet, which is where we are now. But let's show you that footage now. groceries because we've been really craving French onion soup and today has been an absolutely freezing day as per usual like this past week I guess has been like pretty cold and unusually cold for September in BC we had snow on like some of the mountain passes so really crazy weather but we're getting through it our furnace has really got a huge workout this past few days so it is what it is but my eyes are burning because we have a frick ton of onions cooking in the back here getting our French onion soup ready for lunch and yeah. So after lunch here we're going to be heading down Highway 99 further and getting closer kind of-ish to the Whistler area and um, there's a bunch of rec sites and free boondocking spots actually out on that highway and it's super scenic as well so we'll be heading out there and taking you along with us. So we're hanging out a little bit here in the grocery store parking lot. We have a spectacular view out the window. And Alicia's got a spectacular lunch made for us here. Check it out. Thank you, Alicia, for this delicious lunch. Yes, looks good. Onions right from the grocery store, hey? Yep, fresh from the grocery store. Alrighty guys, we're just leaving Lillooet now and we're heading up Highway 99. And just outside of Lillooet is Seton Lake. So if you're ever in the area, make sure you stop here because it's beautiful. Single lane bridges here guys, what the heck? How emerald is Seedon Lake here, hey? It's just like Emerald Lake we were staying in Yoho National Park we visited recently. Honestly, the exact same quality, I would say. But this lake is huge. Like, you can see how far it goes back there, but it goes like around the mountains more. It's crazy. Yeah, and there's Cedan River as well. I think it's below the dam, but you can do camping along there, I believe, and all sorts of stuff. Beautiful area here. Little it's so different. I mean, we just came from that desert out in the Ashcroft, Cache Creek area, and we're going to Whistler, where the Olympic Village was. Wow. popular with RVs. I think people rent a lot of RVs and take them on this loop. It's kind of like a famous loop. And there's also quite a few BC recreation sites, um, like in between here and Whistler. The recreation sites here are all $15 a night and they all look like they're really nice like on a river and really easily accessible too from this road, which is a huge plus. But we've also found that there's some kind of like off the grid boondocking spots that aren't the BC recreation sites, but just on Crown Land, which you're actually free to camp on for up to 21 days. But I think we're gonna try and find our own little camping spot tonight. Um, and worst case, we can stop at one of the BC recreation sites. <laughs> So this is where we're supposed to be going, but it says the bridge is closed. Let's go check it out. All right, we don't, we're not going on this bridge. All right, to one of the proper recreation sites it is, guys. All right, we made it to the Cinnamon Recreation Site. And Luke's backing us into a campsite right now. We're actually the only people at this rec site, so... 
very interesting. It's like five o'clock and we're getting the best view in the whole wreck site overlooking the creek here, or river. Ta-da! And here we are guys, Cinnamon Rex site. And we're just back into this little corner. Picnic table and fire pit if we want it. Still a little cold. Kind of the vibes we've been having lately. It's really, I think it's just a cold thing passing through. We're about to enter October and it should not be this cold. We were RVing in December last year even. And like, yeah, that was colder, but end of September, start of October, you should not be this cold. We are gonna settle into the campsite here, guys. And we will see what we get up to. We will catch you in a little bit, but should be a good one here camping out on the little Highway 99 loop. Kitty, I swear you don't want outside. It's absolutely freezing outside. You don't want it. Hey, not so fast. You're going to be sorry you ever asked for this, kitty. Let me tell you. Ready? Let's do it. At least she's on. She always knows. Ooh. And straight for the grass. It's literally seven degrees Celsius out right now, and the freaking cat couldn't care less. She just wants to eat grass and roam around outside. It's gonna be a cold night, guys. Propane's gonna work overtime today. Yeah. Fill your tanks up. Yeah, good thing we just filled our tanks up the other day, because. We're going through it like crazy, guys. Do you see that, guys? Snow! What a good cat, Dad. She's just been crawling around in the forest wherever she wants to go. Good, beautiful morning from Cinnamon Rex site here outside of Lillooet, guys. I have got my adventure buddy Cat outside with me again. We must have been outside for at least half an hour the other day there, walking around, taking me for a little adventure. So she's loving the forest and kind of a different terrain than she's used to exploring. I'm enjoying it as well. I went for a little walk this morning and explored the loop here, but I guess this rec site must back onto someone's private property. Oh, we're on the go. This rec site must back onto someone's private property. And look at all this vandalization they spray painted and carved into the trees. It's by the campsites. It goes down along the river bank in case people walk the river, I guess, to their property. Terrible. Either way, we have a beautiful campsite here and we are going to enjoy the morning a bit. Aren't we, kitty? She's doing good. We were expecting to pay $15 for this recreation site as well, but I think that's just during on season. And we're on the week of October 1st, so I think recreation site fees in this area stop October 1st, so we got lucky. So we didn't have to pay the $15 in the end though, so another free site here, and we are loving these recreation sites in BC so far. Talk about some of the best camping we've had on all of our trip. It's a little less rushed, of course, than crossing Canada, but wow. Anyways, see you in a bit, guys. Time to go inside, buddy. Let's go. recreation sites so we've actually taken highway 99 all the way through to pretty much Pemberton and now we're at Owl Creek recreation site it looks pretty sweet there's obviously a creek that you can probably hear right behind me and we've got our site picked out here we're just gonna go for a walk and make sure that there's no sites further down the road that would have been better but this one's like perfect and yeah Man, we really picked like the perfect time, like the perfect week pretty much, I think, to be driving Highway 99 from 
like Lillooet to Whistler and down the Sea Sky Highway because all the leaves are starting to change color and it's looking really, really pretty out, like fall colors. And we just got some fresh snow on the mountaintops. So driving that whole like mountain road was so pretty with all like the snow top mountains that you drive towards and all of the red and yellow leaves that you're driving through. At one point at the summit there, we were actually driving and there was snow on the ground beside us. Like there shouldn't be snow yet. I don't know. Apparently we're not getting the worst of it though because I have some family in Lethbridge and they got apparently close to 50 centimeters of snow at the end of September, so crazy guys. Now that we've left the mountains up by Lillooet area, this Pemberton area is so much warmer too. Lower elevation of course, but way nicer. We'll save some propane here for sure this time. <laughs> and by warm he means 16 degrees, which really isn't that bad. It actually is sunny, so it's a good temperature. But we did look for a site that had sun because we're sick and tired of being cold all the time. Alright guys, so we're at the new campsite here, but Cat is already on me hardcore that she wants to check it out too now, so you never have to get her outside quick too. <laughs> Aren't we? <laughs> wow, are you so happy? Not too long this time, just a little bit. So entitled, you give an inch and she takes a mile. She just likes to sit at the door here and complain until somebody lets her out. She's been spoiled. <laughs> the 10 foot cat leash another try. We have it set up to the fire pit here so she'll walk to the max range and won't know why she can't walk any further and then just kind of like lays down but we're getting her used to it so that hopefully we can train her to kind of just be outside by herself with us instead of having to have like a short leash on her the whole time. And Luke is getting some more whittling done. Hello. <laughs> yeah, just working away on this guy from Banff still. But what a great campsite. Yeah. It actually feels like fall down out of the mountains again. Man, it was cold up there in comparison to here. Yeah. Very nice. Definitely changed seasons from winter up on the mountains <laughs> to autumn down here, so. Very nice. Good a rec lot. site. Yeah, a lot better weather and really good rec site and cats at the end of her leash again. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> no, stop. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So it's, well, the sun's starting to come out now, but it's been another pretty cold morning, but not nearly as bad as what we've had the last, like, I don't know, almost a week. Yeah. I think we're starting to leave this cold snap that we've been through, and we're also getting lower in elevation now. So hopefully it gets a bit warmer for us here. But we did have a lot of fun exploring Highway 99 and all of the wreck sites along it. That was actually really cool and it ended up being free, so that's a bonus. Yeah, really good wreck sites. Highway 99 was beautiful. And now that we're getting out of the kind of Lillooet mountain area, we're going to go over Whistler coming up here. So that'll be a little bit of elevation, but out of Whistler down into Squamish and hopefully we'll save a bit of propane. I think we went through about a quarter tank in the last week. So that'd be about a month for the full tank. I believe when we did across the country and back, it was about a month and a half we could get on a tank of propane if it's just running the fridge and cooking. But adding in the furnace, it's definitely sped up the use quite a bit, so. Yeah, we hardly ever use the furnace, and this past little while it's been way too cold to even go through a day without using the furnace, yeah. never mind overnight. So we've been overnighting it at like, what, 66 degrees For the Fahrenheit? Furnace, yeah. yeah, so it's still pretty cold, but we're trying to save propane. Yep. But until next time, guys, we'll see you when we head through Whistler and Squamish, and we'll catch you in the next video then. Bye! Bye! Join us next time when we finish the scenic Highway 99 loop through Whistler Village in Squamish before heading to another recreation site, but this time in Logan Lake.